The nation's top office has been disclosing the content of its proposed revision to the Korean Constitution. In the second part of its detailed summary, Chung Wade explained its approach to the decentralization of power in what it calls economic democratization. Hwang Wo Jun tells us more. Seoul. Area wise, the metro area takes up only 12% of South Korea. But with more than half of the country's 50 million plus population, it's home to 74% of the nation's top 1,000 corporations and 80% of the top 20 universities. According to the Blue House, the administration's bill seeks to change that by boosting the authority and autonomy of local governments. President Moon said decentralization and balance are indisposable values and that through coexistence and cooperation, they are the best strategy for sustainable national development. Stressing the need for strong local governments, the Blue House said the revised constitution will stipulate in its general provisions South Korea's identity as a country striving for decentralization. The administration's proposal will make it easier for local governments to make their own laws by expanding their competencies. It will also pursue decentralization by allowing local governments to set their own tax rates. And to make the rules clear, the bill stipulates that local governments will pay for their own administration, while the projects they undertake will be paid for by the central government or other municipalities. Also to develop regions outside Seoul, the revision would allow for the national capital to be changed through legislation if it becomes necessary to relocate government functions or agencies. It's something that the courts ruled impossible under the current constitution when the previous Nomuhyun administration tried to relocate the capital to Chungcheongnam-do province in 2004. In addition to decentralization, the government bill focuses what the Blue House calls economic democratization. The bill would add the word coexistence to the economy section of the constitution to stress the need for the nation to strive for economic fairness and equality. On that note, the government has decided to define a concept called public ownership of land in the revised constitution, which would allow the state to impose restrictions and or obligations for public purposes in effort to put an end to excessive real estate speculation. A constitution must uphold the spirit of the times. And today the people are demanding decentralization as well as remedies for inequality and unfairness. Wednesday's briefing at the Blue House was a second of its kind on the proposed revisions. The last one will take place on Thursday on matters concerning the proposed form of government. Unless the National Assembly comes up with its own revision bill, the Blue House will submit its proposal next Monday. Hwang Ojun, Arirang News.